What's going on everybody? Drones and Dogs here. And uh got another unboxing for you guys. You know, we finna unbox some stuff for you guys. Hey, really quickly, shout out to my subscribers, man. Uh 549 plus of you guys. Actually, actually I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I think we might be at 550. 550 or more, man. But I know it's at least 45, 49, man, at the time of this taping. But hopefully, by the time this video drops, that number should be going up, man. So if you're watching this video, man, and you haven't liked and subscribed yet, man, all you got to do to change this number, and you want to make this number go up, and you want to support the channel, and you like my videos, and you like my reviews, and you like what you're seeing from your boy, man, look out, man. Hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. When you do, this number goes up, man. And that's all good for the channel. I appreciate you guys. That all helps me. And I thank you guys very much to uh, take a little bit of time to enjoy the hobby with me today. We got an unboxing going on on the channel today. Drones and dogs. We got it on and popping with this little unboxing real quick. It is iBase Toys Dragonfly, what they call it. Now... Right away, uh, this reminds me, this is, a, now with iBase Toys, if you remember, if you didn't catch my review that I did about, I want to say about three, four days ago, it was another iBase Toys drone. It was the iBase Toys, um, let me see, iBase Toys H816H, I believe, something like that, something like that. But that drone was basically another model of that, of the Hubson, like the Hubson H107D or something like that. And that helps and or and that Skyview drone. So what it looks like to me is the iBase Toys is an Amazon-based company. They sell a lot of their drones on Amazon. And what they do is rebrand some of these other quads or quads that's already been out. Look like they may they might just buy some of these these companies or these other drone companies models and put their name on them because that's what this is basically a WL Toys. This is the WL Toys Q616. If you ever seen the WL Toys Q616, this is the same exact drone. This is just the iBase toy model. So I just wanted to cl clarify some things up. Because a lot of people might know what that WL Toys drone looked like and be like, hey man, that's that. That's the WL Toys Q616. Well, iBase Toys has put their name on it and rebranded this drone, is what it looks like. And I picked this guy up for about 25 bucks. Now I was on Amazon today. Doing some shopping, just browsing around, looking for new content for the channel. And I came across this guy again while I was browsing around. And it seemed to me that the price went up on this guy really quickly. And I didn't even get to drop the review yet. I've already had this guy for about a week now. I apologize, guys. I'm a uh, few days behind on my reviews. I got a lot of stuff I still got to unbox and review for you guys. So be patient with me. Stay tuned. That's why you guys need to subscribe, man. That's why y'all need to subscribe. And you will know soon as i drop the reviews but i got a few quads that still have need to be unboxed and reviewed and this was one of them that's been sitting on a back burner for a little while been fairly busy man knocking things out the way doing other reviews and getting things done drones and dogs here i am drones and dogs a lot of y'all wonder why they call me drones and dogs because uh we are a, a kennel here too we do breed american bullies and dobermans doberman pinchers and so I've been really busy with that, with my kennel and stuff like that. You know, uh, we're getting ready to set up for a couple bully litters, having a couple American bully litters. So we show and we breed our dogs here. So that's why they call me Drones of Dogs. I, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all never knew that. Some people know me because they know me from Facebook and they follow me on Facebook. And they see the other my other part of my life, man, that's not the YouTube part. They get to see a little bit behind the scenes content of your boy drones and dogs you know what i'm saying but that's why they call me drones and dogs man because i love the drones and i love my dogs and uh before i even got into the drones i've been breeding dogs since i was like 18 years old been breeding start off i started off with uh regular pit bull terriers and then i got into the american bullies and then we also breed american dobermans but that's another story all in itself let's get back to this quadcopter the Dragonfly Man by iBase Toys. Like I said, man, I picked it up for 25 bucks at the time I purchased it a couple weeks ago. Like I said, I've already had it for about a week now. 
And like I was looking online today, man, it seemed like the price went up, man. I it seemed it was 50 bucks. Now, when I drop the link for this, I'll try to, I'm going to drop the same link that I purchased it, purchased it from uh, Amazon, from my um my order list. So if that that price has changed, I'm sorry, guys, that then they just changed the price. I'm sorry, but I will drop the exact link to where I, I bought this guy from. And when I bought it, it was $25. So if it went up, I apologize. Or if they sell out, I also apologize. But this the price I paid for it, 25 bucks. Okay. Model Q616. iBase Toys Dragonfly, man. Looks pretty nice, man. And I don't know if you guys remember W Toys had that whole Dragonfly series, man. They had the Dragonfly, which is one, which is this model. They had the Dragonfly 2. And they had the Dragonfly 3, and like the 2 and 3 had like a, a gimbal actually on them. So that was pretty cool, man. They had like a series of these guys. So what it says on the box is the 6-axis gyroscope, 2.4 gigahertz, 4-channel, high-powered battery, HD camera, LED lights, Model Q616, iBase Toys on this part of the box. Has a little QR code that you want to download, either iOS or Google Play. Has a little picture of the transmitter letting you know that this is Wi Fi FPV. Oops. Things are falling off the box. <laughs> so, a little something about the quadcopter. This device complies with part 15 of the FCC rules. Operation is sub subject to the following two conditions. This device may not cause harmful interference, and the device must accept any interference received, including interference that may cause undesired operation. Okay, so, <laughs> you know, just make sure you're in compliance with the law with this guy. and You're not going to be bothering anybody is basically what that guy says. So let's get this guy open, man. Too much jabber jarring. Too much jabbering. All right, base toy. Q616. The Dragonfly. Let's see what you look like, man. Let's, I'm curious. I've been having you over here for a while. Let's see what you look like. Oh, you're actually kind of smaller than I thought. Cool looking though. So we're gonna take this top. Look like we got a top tier. Take this top tier off here. Take this top. Ah. Let me just go ahead and take this whole thing out. Look like we got instructions in the bottom. Or the box. Take the whole thing out. The, so the box is empty now. Take the whole thing out the box. So this annoying me right now. Take that out the box. Here's our instruction manual. Showing you everything. Showing you how to charge this guy. Showing you what batteries you're gonna need for the transmitter. Like we're gonna need four AA batteries for the transmitter. Basic flight operations, showing you the controller and what the controller does. So, uh, pretty cool. Oh, wow, that's why we can't open this guy. We need the handy dandy unboxing knife. Cha! Got some tape right here. That's what it is. Keeping this guy. Got some good, good tape right there. Is that what it is? We got tape on all sides. Have this guy taped down. They ain't want nobody to get up in this joint. Alright. Alright. So now we got that out the way. You can see the quad copter is sitting on top. Looking pretty nice and sleek. Fix my R. Fix my fix my sign, man. What the what's going on there? Fix my uh drones and dogs, man. What's going on here now? Nah? What's going on here now? Nah? Get that right for the people. Bam! Drones and dogs. But uh, yeah, so here's the quadcopter. Kind of cool though, looking. A little bit smaller than I thought. Thought I'd be a little bit bigger than this, but it's kind of cool. Look at that. Here's our little camera. Now it's supposed to be 720p, but I'm not too sure about that. But we'll see what it is. Look like it's going to be more like 480. But we'll see. Here's the opening right there. That's where the battery compartment, where it's going to go. Look like we got some LED lights on top. It says iBase Toy right here in the back. 
I like the way it looks. It has like this little nose coming out the front. So that's really good for orientation rides, especially for beginners, knowing where the front of the quadcopter is with this little like nose pointing out with the front, with the camera facing in front. So like we got some little foam footies, these little clear footies right here. Or not foam, I'm sorry, like rubber. Rubber or plastic. Plastic, I want to say. So that's going to maybe help dampen vibrations and landings and stuff like this. Stuff like that, I'm sorry. And this is a brushed gear-to-gear -gear quad. So you got to be careful. You know, you don't want to damage any motors or anything like that. But it looks pretty nice, man. I don't see any SD card slot. Oh, maybe or maybe I do. Look like there, there appears to be an SD card slot right here. I'm not sure. I'll try sticking one in there for the flight, but it seems like it appears to be one. Right here on the side, looks like there's a little slot right there for an SD card. I'll stick one in there. Hopefully, I don't lose one and see if we can uh, get uh, some SD card slot footage from this guy. So, But it doesn't feel cheap. It actually feels pretty good in the hands for the size of this guy. Uh, and I like the look of it. I know these arms are going to light up, and they're going to light up underneath and up top so this should be a pretty decent night flyer i'm not sure if these little ends are going to light up on the end of the motors i'm not sure but i'm knowing these are for landing the dampening and soften our landing so that's pretty cool man the q616 looking at it all the way around i'm looking for an on and off switch i don't see no on and off switch and it looks like this is a little hole right there like if they would have maybe want to have optical flow in a different version but there's nothing in there it's just empty there's not no little camera, nothing in there. So, but it do appear to, from looking underneath there, there might be a little DVR in there. It might be an actual S working SD card slot, maybe. But we'll see. So that's the, looking at the quad itself, man. It looks pretty cool. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Let's see, we got our goodie bag. This is gonna be our charger. Charger, maybe looking like our battery in here. Yep, buddy. No, if I can only get this thing open. They got this thing packaged down really well, which is okay with me, especially for shipping, having it packaged nice. So, what is this? This, what is this? So here's our battery, proprietary, of course. So maybe look like this is the charger. Yep, and it's got like a proprietary charger as well. So looking like maybe that we stick the battery in here like this, and then has a micro USB end, and here's a little USB charger, micro USB, the regular size USB. So you're gonna plug this guy in here like so. Plug this guy in here like so, with the battery plugged in. So it's a proprietary charger. I'm not sure if I really like that. You know, I would rather have been like a, just a common connector, but it's a proprietary charger with a proprietary battery. I'm not sure of the amp. It looks like it's a 3.7 volt, 800 milliamp hour battery. It's either 8 or 850, but it's a 3.7 single cell volt, you know. So here's our battery. It's gonna click into the back of the quad like this. You're gonna wanna line up, the, you see these little, the gold lines, and then you see the gold lines on the quad. That's how you're gonna know how to line this guy up really nice, because they should match up the gold, the gold lines or the detail of the quad, or the, where it says i base toys should match up like that. And you should just be able to click it in. And then it turns on, so there's no on and off switch. So here's the lights. You got green LED in the front, red in the back. It just clicks in as soon as you click this guy in, so there's no on and off switch on this guy. So you want to just hold these two, press in on these two tabs, and pull that guy out, and that turns the quadcopter off. All right. That's really nice. And that's everything in the back. Doesn't look like we get any extra props. With this guy, no extra props. Our, tra our transmitter looks really nice. I ain't gonna lie, this thing looks dope. I, can, I like this. Looks like it has a little, this is 
just blank. It looked like it would have been like a little fake telemetry screen or like if, you know, a little LCD screen, but there's nothing there. It's just blacked out. So there's nothing there. And all the buttons are labeled. Look like we got a light button. You can turn on and off the LEDs, photo button, video button. I wonder if these work directly from the transmitter. We're going to try that. Look like we got a one key return and headless mode. And then you got automatic takeoff, automatic land. I like this controller, man. Everything is labeled out. Spring loaded gimbals. They grip really nice. Look at that. With these look like little metal grips. You can thumb or pinch with these guys. You got trim buttons right here. You got on and off switch. It says iBase Toys. And it's got this little black like finish over the top of it. This transmitter looks really nice for this price. Even the buttons up here are labeled. You have a little time look and spit switch that look like, like a little speed dial. And that's gonna be our speed button. 3D flips right here. Looks like it has some right here for maybe the FPV mount. Maybe for the, uh, let me see. Oh, yeah. So here's our FPV mount. Oh, this is really slick. It has some little rest right here for your phone. This is dope. You put a decent sized phone in there. I like this, man. And then on each side, you're going to want to take two screws out. You're going to put your AA batteries, two AA's on each side. So that's your four AA batteries total. And that's your transmitter, man. This, I like this transmitter. Everything feels really nice. Buttons are nice and clickable. Yeah, I like that a lot. I can't wait to try this out. So this is the iBase Toy, man. Q616, man. The Dragonfly. I appreciate you guys for checking me out in this unboxing. I'm your boy, Drones and Dogs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bam, 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 bam. The Dragonfly.